Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to briefly show you all the mirror modifier and auto mirror plugin inside of Blender so that you can get uh, basically perfect symmetry on your objects. As you make changes on one side of an object or one side of the world, you can have all of those changes reflected across one or multiple axes and basically duplicate the changes perfectly, ending up with uh, perfect symmetry if you do the whole process with the mirror modifier enabled. So if I hit shift A to go into add mesh, I'll add a cube. And you can see that there is this origin point of the object inside of the cube. So if we add the mirror modifier, it's going to be uh, mirroring across this origin point. So if we look over on the right, you can hit modifier properties, go to add modifier, and then mirror. And we're mirroring across the x axis of the object. So if I hit tab, and we select a vertice, and we, se and we select a vertice and hit G to move it around. Uh, we can see as we make changes, it's reflected across one side of the object. Uh, one problem that we run into though, is that uh, since we're mirroring both the left to the right and the right to the left, we end up with duplicate vertices um, since the origin is right in the middle. So we don't wanna get those duplicate vertices on either side of the object origin. So what we can do is we can change the uh, position of this origin by selecting one of the vertices, um, probably on the outer side here. I'm gonna do Shift S and then do cursor to selected. And now we need to set the origin to that uh, point. And now to make the origin of this object, this point where we have selected, I'll hit tab to go back into edit mode, go to object, set origin, and then do origin to 3D cursor. Uh, so now we have a different point set up for our mirroring, and we're going to get a more proper result as we go ahead and move things around. As you can see here, um, these are not really connecting with each other. So I'm gonna enable clipping. And now as you can see, these points are lined up properly. So if I hit G over here, we only get one reflection, not uh, two as before, since we're reflecting all of this across the origin to this right side. But uh, we probably wanna make sure that uh, we can't just pull apart these points. So we can enable clipping when we do that and you move the vertices, they should stick together now that you have clipping enabled. So now you can make whatever changes you need to on the unmirrored part of your object, adding in extra loop cuts for more vertices, more points to pull around and edit. And as you can see, whatever you do to one side is going to be done to the other. We can also uh, reflect across more axes. So you can see that this is where the object origin is. So if we reflect Y now, well, everything that occurs over here is also gonna be reflected over uh, on the Y axis for that object. We probably wanna make sure that everything here gets lined up with no gaps. So I'll hit Alt-Z to go into X-ray mode. I'll select all of these right edge points, and then I'll move the selected points with G and then Y, sliding them into each other. And uh, that'll make sure that after the mirroring is done, there's gonna be no gaps here. Uh, so that's basically one way you can have changes made in one space be duplicated once or even four times in the case that you reflect across multiple axes. Uh, but there's a much easier way of actually applying the mirror modifier and that's using the auto mirror plugin. So if I delete this object here, um, I'll hit shift C to reset the 3D cursor to the world origin and then shift A, add in a cube. Now, this time we need a plugin enabled called Auto Mirror. So in Edit Preferences, make sure Auto Mirror, okay, Auto Space Mirror is enabled here. And then with your object, if you hit N to open up the End Properties panel, you can go over to Edit. You should see Auto Mirror here. So uh, now when you use Auto Mirror, it's going to be reflecting across the world axes rather than the object. So this is really handy because you don't need to actually move the object uh, to get the mirroring. You can just assume you have the right shape that you want to start mirroring from. You select the axes you want to mirror for and you hit auto mirror. So basically what's going to happen is it's going to cut the object in half since half was on one side and half was on the other side of the axes. And after it removes half the object, it mirrors the remaining existing half over the axes. So it ends up maintaining the same shape, but uh, now you don't have to worry about the duplicate vertice problem because 
well, you only have points on one side of the axes. And you also don't need to uh, care about the object origin since it's basically working with the world here. So it's just a much quicker way of getting going with the mirroring. So just once again, we can just do whatever edits we need to. So now when we take our object and we do standard modeling operations, everything is just going to be duplicated from one axis to the other. So whenever you want to create an object that has perfect symmetry, this is definitely going to be the way to do it. A huge benefit not having to worry about getting each of these sides to line up perfectly because it's already doing that for you. So when you need symmetry between your changes, this is extremely helpful. Note that if you ever need to get to the point where you do need to make some individual changes on one side, you can uh, decide that you just apply the mirror modifier. Uh, by going into object mode, selecting the object, and I'll just go select the apply option from the modifiers window. So now if we go back into edit mode, we can see that all of the vertices actually exist now on both sides of the object. And since there's no more mirror, mirror modifier, if I make changes to one side, it's only going to be affecting that one side at this point. So what you can do is you can model with symmetry initially, and then if you need to make uh, minor changes to one side of your model for cosmetic reasons or to break things up a little bit, um, make it look less perfectly uniform, then you can just apply the mirror modifier and then edit from there at that point. So that's pretty much the mirror modifier and the auto mirror plugin in a nutshell. I hope this helped some of you guys out there if you're trying to create a symmetric or mirrored object, which in many cases you do want to do. Um, I've been Chris. Thanks for watching, and I will see all of you in my future video content.